Happy Saturday, everybody. As we make our way further into the night, we are actually going to start to see some rain. It's been a pretty beautiful Saturday at that, though. We've had highs drop kind of in the last 24 hours compared to yesterday. We were in the 60s and now almost the 70s, actually. And now we're at 59 degrees for our high for today, and that is a pretty Big drop in temperatures in the last 24 hours, 11 degrees that we've lost here. So getting a bit on the cooler side and winds are continuing in from the west. We switched direction earlier around 630. We actually were seeing them coming from the east. Now they're coming in from the west, bringing in some of that warmer air into our area. But we are still on the colder side when it does come to temperatures. Unfortunately, Max Storm Track Response for Anderson Nissan shows in our area this little cell of rain is going to start to make its way down into our region. We're going to have the dry conditions at the moment kind of leave us and scatter us with a little bit of rain, but then that's going to pick up as we really get into those early hours of Sunday. As you can see here, we even have some snow activity uh, north of Monroe and Beloit over there that's going to slowly make its way down into our region. 40 degrees for tonight. Winds are going to pick up speed coming in from the west at 15 to 20 miles per hour. So we're going to have some overnight snow and rain to wake up to on Sunday morning. So if you have plans, if you're going to be traveling, just be aware of that and make sure you do drive careful. Of course, with rain and snow, that mixture, it's always can make for slippery roads. So you just want to be on the lookout. And if you have plans for the day, grab a jacket, maybe grab an umbrella and just be aware that we are going to have a lot of activity with rain and snow mixtures throughout the day on top of some colder temperatures. So it's good to just plan ahead if you do have something planned for the day, especially for Monday as well, because it's going to be pretty identical to Sunday. So around 3.30 in the morning is where we're going to start to see that rain really fall in. 8 a.m. though is when we're going to have that transitional period between rain and snow. So 10 is when it's really going to hit. 8 is when it's kind of making its way down into our area. It's going to become more scattered around the afternoon time. We get heavier with the rain rather than snow as we get further into the afternoon, especially the evening times where it does kind of end up breaking away. So around 8 o'clock, we kind of lose all that rain and snow. We get a nice break, but then it's going to be coming back as we make our way further into Sunday night transitional period again. Monday 1.30 a.m. is what Timecast is telling us where we have the rain and the snow mixture. This pink is sleet right there. So everything kind of just coming together and then just straight snow throughout the rest of Monday morning into Monday afternoon as well. Real transitions back into rain. This is what I was talking about where I was saying if you have plans for Sunday, a lot of snow, a lot of rain, you really want to be prepared for that. But it's going to break away around the late afternoon time period. This is our rainfall forecast to give you an idea of what to expect tomorrow. High of 43 degrees and then the next seven days here, high of 43 on Sunday, high of 46 there on Monday. Those are our two big active days with weather with that snow and rain a lot happening. Monday is going to have a lot more snow than rain. So if you are going to be driving into work that day, just something to really be aware of. And if you have plans for Sunday tomorrow as well, it's going to be that transitional period, as I keep mentioning, of the snow and the rain kind of flip flopping back and forth. But a lot more rain on Sunday than Monday. You know, I keep talking about the rain and snow for the next couple of days, but we can look forward to 70s next week. Yeah. You know, we're going to have starting Tuesday all the way into the weekend. It's going to be sun. It's going to be six upper 60s. It's going to be 70s again. Mm -hmm. So I know we were talking earlier that you're not a fan of the snow. Yeah, at all. <laughs> I'm over it. You know, Tuesday and onward is going to be your days. Yeah, thank so, you. Yeah, of course. Looking forward to that sunshine. Mm -hmm. oh Coming up on the Sports 2.